They are going to slow down right now over on Solo, and Solo gets a little bit of light back with that brain staff, trying to run himself out, but London's got the shield up, they don't want to tack into him, because then they'll just trigger the shield and kill off Solo, deny himself up to the trolls, the team to do it, able to do it as well. Vega not giving Ehome an inch, but they're not out just yet. Seema on the run, they saw everything with an Observer Ward, the TP, but there's a looser beam available, it'll end up being cancelled, and Seema, he should be the first blood, and he will be the first blood. Abaddon will take it. As long as you don't get hit by the loosened beam. Bottom lane, the Nightmare starting on the Earthshaker. There's no Sonic Wave available, but with the Earthshaker, Echo Slam, Old Eleven commits so heavily, I think he realized he was going to die anyway. And Pasha blinks into the tree line. Old Eleven with a stun. He'll find the kill. The heal came just in time from Lanham. And now Solo will die as well. Vega committing so hard underneath that tier one tower. And that will give vega a lot more secure initiation mag that you really want to jump forward for this one 11 able to get that stun off with the echo slam they ensure the kill on mag well you might hit with the sonic wave a lot of the damage is repaired and lanham he's got shield off caught out in one second time off chicken gonna get cursed up that's a big lockdown on top of e-home no one needs to do more damage however they get through the refracted charges but the nightmare from solo buying him a little bit more space with the collar brace not gonna do enough not when cty turns on the eclipse looking for more damage seamus is gonna get beaten down by the Earthshaker. CTY, well, he can't even get that last loose of beam off because the boys from Night Stalker, Kaka, able to find the kill, and they get a four for one trade off in favor of Ehome. I kind of like the switch up from Pasha too. He started, okay, CTY should be, yeah, should be dead. Got a couple of one charges at 11. Oh with my the god. Time and the Eclipse, he ain't dead at all. Live and kicking Ehome. With the help of old 11, just turns it around and no one's on the run out of here. Lana wants to catch up. Just want to take the down. Old 11's going to do the work. The curse is there. It does include at least the Abaddon. And our Shaker will end up dying. Solo must have had the biggest dish of vu right there. He did the exact same thing as before. He nightmared a hero, ran into the exact same spot in the tree line, but this time he got out with the TP. So he had to escape there. Still a, a good fight for Ehome. Uh, uh, sorry, for a Manta. Uh, you actually have Old Chicken also completing up a Mantis. They're gonna have double Mantis available for E-Home. Yeah, Vega, smoke movement, Old oh. Eleven, he's gonna get initiated on. Mag gets the good stun off, but how much work can he do? Old Chicken being stripped up, Mag isolated on the hillside, but can this SF get his make off in time? No, he can't. It's just a death ulti. Lanham wants to move forward to Seema, locked in by this vision. No one's BKB, it's now gonna wear out and wait for your Eclipse time. CTY's got it ready to go, and he's moving forward, but the curse! Catching all of E-Home, holds him in position, but it's not enough. Seema will still end up dying, but at least it keeps E-Home away from the two big cores of Vega. I like it better, can you tell? Oh, Mag, there we go. Blink forward, Abaddon still waiting for this. He hasn't let the shield off, and Old Chicken now is there with the Echo Slam. It's so hard. Man, Mag just evaporated in thin air. The Sonic Wave will fly back, but Lana, well, all he does is trigger his ult. He's a curse, however, Seema. Perfect time. The bouncing glaze and Old Chicken, just above 100 life, is able to survive. Vega can't finish the job, and with the Fissure, they actually find Seema. They keep the stun going. He can't protect himself inside that Glimmer Cape. That's and E-Home take two big kills. They grab the gem into their hands. I don't think they saw it. Actually, they didn't. They missed it. Yeah, it's just sitting on the hill. They don't... Old 11? Nope. They've already got a gem of their own, too, coming yeah, out in the courier. Yeah, let's go mid. <laughs> with a smoke movement, Mag to the front lines. E-Home, they're bailing out of here. They got the Aghanim Scepter up, so Mag's going to be visible very early on. Jumps forward to Old Chicken. He's so tanky, though, with that fresh Scardy done. And Vega, they move over. Look for that side blade damage. The curse is out on Old Chicken. No one needs a little bit more. And the SF can't get the Mech off. He'll die as the first casualty of war. And the blink away. Partial survive with the Echo Slam. Back in from Old One. And CTY is eclipsed. It does way too much damage. A double kill, a monster kill for CTY. And they'll chase even further. The blink is still on cooldown for Old Eleven, but he'll four staff up, looking for the sun over on Seema. The loser beam will set up for the follow-up fissure, and then Kaka can go to work with the rest of his team. Well, Ivan can call and brace himself all he wants, but he's lost four heroes. Only the Templar Assassin has buyback, and Ehome will make a beeline for that mid racks I think he might have been able to save him in that fight, but regardless, they get a four for one. Exceptionally good fight for them. And this is one of the things that Luna is so extremely good at, is sieging the base. The moment you take down the tower, so you allow these glaives to bounce across all the buildings, it increases her damage on this build. I don't know by how much, but it's... It's, it's the fact it's a it's lot. A, it's, not, it's not just that, too. Like, you look at Solo trying to come back in. He takes a little bit of glaive damage and already drops down to three quarters of his life. That's not even intentional damage from the Luna. He could finally be aggressive with the SF. SF almost wants to die so he can get his mech charge off for once. Uh, he's gone through the last four fights and never used his mech.
Even its Requiem has been very rarely used. The only issue for him at the moment is the fact he doesn't have max souls for the Nightmare. Might be another one, but you've already gotten through the towers. So the Glaze are making it very difficult for Vega to get forward. Even Slada having that Blink Dagger come on cooldown. It's better than the buildings are out, and CDY, he dodged it with the Mana Sun, and no one. I played it outside, they get the curse on CDY, buying a little bit of space, but Old Chicken now winds up that ulti. Buying time, there's your Eclipse, no one's down, and this will probably even be the game right now as E-Home, there it is, GG well played. They are rampaging through the Vega base. As the E-Home combo, the unique picks, they work and they take game number one in this best of three. Uh, bottom lane, they're going to go on Mag with a Shadow Strike already. Kaka starts with a shock. He does a lot of damage with Shackles as well. And this will buy time to just beat into this nice lock who can't run away from this. And he'll end up dying. That's first blood going the way of E-Home. It's the biggest threat to their lineup. It's, it's Dragon Knight and it's levels on Shadow Shaman. They haven't done too well on the second. Uh, second thing here, Kaka Lanham. already almost level six. A little bit of trouble. Mag, that Observe Lord, let him know what he was up against. They just toss a creeping, cling to the tree line, but Lanham gets a shield off in time. No ultimate, however, so he will not survive this. Old Chicken finds himself also on the front lines, but CTY, he won a good Sonic Wave, tossed up down a Sonic Wave, it does pick up the iron, and they need a little bit more. Old Chicken, Dragon Form is up, Dragon Tail back off cooldown, the crush from Pasha, fire space, but that space instantly removed by Old Eleven, getting the shards out, and they just snowball up towards the running away slot of us. A double kill for CTY. The Queen of Pain, the DK combo wing together beautifully. And Vega, their first unfavorable fight in a while. No, they just didn't get that much out of the rotation here from the Slardar. This is not the kind of fight that he's good in. The, the events that need to unfold for it to become a 20 minute game. Ehome are getting everything they want. Oh, it back. hasn't been perfect, but it's been very good. Is there any follow up to this? No, there isn't. Odd Lev is just trying to back up. The relocate's kicking in. He's going to bring in no one to drop rolling down, but again, not catching out enough here as Tusker can't survive with his one touch for the Sonic Wave. His fingers so hard. Mag wants to retreat back out here. They've got two seconds until that relocate will drag him out, but it can't do anything. There was enough damage with the shock. The DK finds the kill, and Old Chicken commits him pretty deep here. So does CTY. Jumping in a long way, Mag's already shadow striked up, so he can't stick around. And with the nuke arriving from Lanham, the Yule Scepter dodges the avalanche. And Vega, it's 13 minutes, and they're dying behind their own tier three towers, almost under their tier fours. Yeah, they will be forced back here. There might be a nope. Yeah, well, he does have one charges, but no uh, glimpses on cool cooldown. Down. And he's down on uh, death timers. It's still pretty damn low. Uh -oh. Bottom lane, uh, snowball. Uh... Oh, he's gonna come in as uh, goes down. Old 11, walled up, and he'll end up dropping as well. The balls will just kill him off, but then Queen of Pain comes in from behind. Solo, still so low, and he does actually pick out to the DK. No one will follow, and it's DK with a double kill. They may not even need the wards to get this. With the pickoffs, actually 40 seconds on the sideline, and Tiny buys back. This is so expensive for him. Three buybacks. Io, Tiny, and Tusk all doing it. Tusk is trying to get back as quick as he possibly can. CTY, they have to bail out of here. A blink, actually, he's still got the Aegis of the Immortal, so the Queen of Pain will come back to life again. The Breathe Fire doing some work, keeping Mag low enough that e -Home can keep fighting. CTY, what's he got left? The Orc is back off cooldown, and now he actually triggers it over on Seema with a scream damage that should almost be enough to pop this drop. Maybe two more attacks do the work, but with a cross from Pasha, it gives E-Home control for the shards, locking no one in. The one they got, there's no way to get it back out. Solo trying to go for the relocate. Oh, wow. There it is, just in the nick of time. Pasha's moving away, but with all this time passing, the Mass Serpent boards are back off cooldown, attacking into that tier 3 tower. It probably won't be to finish the job, but they'll be forced into the engagement. No, they will cut their losses. Old Chicken glimpse back, and this will allow Vega to get some exit kills. But they still have a heavy cost for that fight. That's a game-saving relocate, though. I think they would have lost if he didn't get that out before Tiny died. He already bought back. If no one dies again, they, they lose the lane, to, the lane of Rax. Then Ehom don't even need to go back, so... From this fight on bottom lane. But with a fresh Blink Dagger, a surprise Blink Dagger from the Shaman, he's still not level 11 yet. They even gave him the Bounty Rune on bottom to try and get him there. But, jump forward. Mass Open Wards are down. It's very... It's very shallow. Placed. Uh, they can't reach the racks. He blinks himself forward. They can't block no one close enough. Maybe at least from here they understand they can keep their master from wards alive. That's one upside in Vega. 
They're going for the oh, AOL wraparound. <laughs> and they are, reach. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. an observed one up on the hillside, so the smoke will break. Mag instant triggers his BKB and Karka. He's the man to be caught out in Parker. A big double start, allowing no one to move forward. Swing and cleave. He's looking for more damage. How much have they got there? Mag tries keeping Karka alive. Mag wants to keep running, but his BKB's one off. If they got the control, the shock doesn't even come off. And Mag coming so much damage from Parker again. A huge stun. Maybe they got the control. All chicken slow the snowball. Nothing is left, but the charge is keeping them here. All chicken. He just don't get him. Thank you. Now he'll finally go down. There's no one really pumping it out. Let him, they're just tossing it around. The snowball's back in again. No Warriors punch left. Mag barely missing the ice shards. It's two on two left. Old Chicken can't reach Pasha or Mag as they retreat back out again. And like the Slada is still trying to build his BKB. And the Nice Talker has his on, his on cooldown for another 48 seconds. So the Master from Wards get dropped. Vega has to use the fortification to slow this down. And what are you going to do? Initiate an old chicken? He's also shielded up. So the initial damage won't do anything, and they just jump on Mag. A three-way right now, just destroying off that oh, Night Stalker. No and then also, the Rain Drake to go down. No Night Stalker here, as you said. No buyback available. Old Chicken protect himself inside the BKB, but they jump up. They want this IO gone, and the wish shall be granted with a Sonic Wave removing him from the face of the Earth. They'll go for the Avalanche Toss, and the Cleaver no one can start doing work, but they've already lost Seema. He's basically got no friends left. Even the Courier is in jeopardy of dying. Pasha and no one forced back into their fountain. Karkar's wards held finish off most of that bottom lane. But now Ehome, with so many heroes dead for Vega for 25 seconds till they're back to five, they can force in and take out this tier three tower at least. They can look for more being the mid racks. Yeah, they're definitely getting two lanes here. I think 15 seconds should be enough. They got Dragon Form of cooldown in two seconds time, sure. Yep. No mass open wards up it's just not yet. Using it actually. A little bit surprising, but. Yep. Get the melee, get out. Looks the fact like you don't have to use your dragon form and you can still retreat from Vega. We realize E Home were turning. With the glimpse, old chicken, he's not too far out. That BKP still on cooldown for six more seconds. Look for that heck of a peak to drop the rolling. Snakey so E Home can't instantly reply. But Lanham just hangs through it. Old chicken, he was limited to way to safety and now he can control Seema over on the left hand side of the battle. And again they isolate that IO. You might have the battle going on the side with Kaka actually standing its ground against two cores of Vega. But now the rest of E Home will rotate back over. CTY getting a little bit more space away from that tiny. The BKB will wear off in just two seconds. CTY blinks over, back over towards Pasha with a shadow strike. They go forward, best GG. E Home will 2 0 Vega.